Hello cosmonauts. I promised we'd talk about this in the explanatory video on Mina, and today we're diving into the synergy between Celestia and Mina. If you haven't already, I strongly recommend watching the video on Mina. It will help you understand the architectural decisions ahead for Ethereum, whether in Vitalik's roadmap or more recently Justin Drake's updates. It also highlights how Mina and Celestia are two projects that specialize to such a degree that one cannot truly function without the other. Let me explain. For a complete architecture, a settlement layer needs to align with a data availability layer to ensure users can verify that fork choice rules are being followed. Conversely, a data availability layer needs a settlement layer to ensure that rollups inherit the security of a large validator set. In this video, we'll explore why Zcaps choose to interact with Celestia using its light clients through the lightest network of nodes, Mina, and why this architecture is likely the closest thing we have to the end game of blockchains. But before we dive in, I want to thank the Mina Foundation for the grant provided for the previous video and for including me in their incentive program for content creators. This will allow us to follow the roadmap and the development of ZK Caps with the highest quality content we can provide. For full transparency, I have 100% control over the topics and content of my videos. The MENA Foundation only evaluates and provides incentives proportional to the added value of my content. I believe this is the best form of incentive possible. I don't feel restricted or obligated to say anything in particular. So yes, when I say this is the architecture closest to the end game, I mean it, for all the reasons I'll discuss in this video and those covered in the previous one. Additionally, the best engineers and developers I follow closely, like Vitalik Buterin, the StarkNet teams, Cosmos developers and others, have taught me to appreciate this kind of infrastructure. It maximizes decentralization and security using sampling technologies, co-developed by Vitalik, available on Celestia, as well as ZK proofs for data compression, co-developed by Eli Ben Sasson, available on Mina. By leveraging modularity and sharding, we can take advantage of transaction parallelization, scalability, and zero-knowledge technology. A big thank you to Mina for allowing me to tackle these topics that I'm so eager to discuss, but that don't yet capture enough attention for me to fully dive into them. And congratulations to you who truly care about the tech. As for you over there who prefer memcoins, you're welcome to stick around too. It's not impossible that we'll soon see memcoins trading on Mina's Zcaps. I'm sure you wouldn't say no to memcoins that can be traded while staying anonymous, without paying prohibitive fees, or having three out of five transactions fail. All right, why is the announcement of Mina Protocol's integration with the DA layer Celestia one of the most important announcements for all application builders? Here's the deal. Application developers already have a massive workload. They need to understand the market, develop a product, and iterate on it. Ideally, they don't want to rebuild an entire infrastructure just to meet the demands of their applications. What a developer will typically do is first choose their infrastructure with a very sharp focus, since they won't want to go back and redo this choice later. This allows them to concentrate 100% on their application. The infrastructure choice is therefore the first and most significant gamble a developer makes. The Ethereum smart contract platform, being the most decentralized and secure to date, has become the standard. Choosing another infrastructure inherently carries risks for developers. It could lead to questioning everything at the first sign of trouble, whether it's issues with the founders, lack of adoption, or insufficient liquidity. These risks ultimately reduce the chances of the application succeeding and iterating effectively. While the decentralization of Ethereum and Bitcoin is socially and philosophically unmatched and cannot be replicated today, Celestia and Mina are the two next-generation projects achieving a unique form of decentralization through technical innovation. As part of this new generation of blockchains, but especially cryptography, Mina and Celestia offer developers decentralization, modularity and performance with an unparalleled level of neutrality and resilience. This is exactly what developers need. They know they aren't taking a risk because they don't have to compromise decentralization for performance. To achieve this level of decentralization, Mina and Celestia have introduced significant technical innovations. On one side, we have the first modular blockchain for data availability, which leverages data sampling. This method is called DAS, or Data Availability Sampling. Celestia also employs namespace Merkle trees, NMTs, and we'll cover that too. To begin with, data availability sampling allows light nodes to verify the availability of data without needing to download an entire block. Typically, a client would need to download 100% of the data to verify its blockchain. With DAS, you only need to verify 1% of the data. 
This makes it possible to sample data using your phone, browser, or even natively within your extension wallet, as is already implemented by Leap Wallet. A namespace Merkle Trees, NMTs, allow execution and settlement layers on Celestia to download only the data relevant to their transactions. However, to validate these transactions and ensure that rollups inherit strong decentralization, it's crucial for a decentralized network of full nodes to verify the proofs. With Mina, full nodes are also extremely lightweight, making the network easily decentralizable. Here again, decentralization stems from a technical innovation we're now quite familiar with, zero knowledge, ZK technology. You've probably seen this technology used in rollups to reduce transaction costs by verifying a small mathematical proof of a large number of executed transactions. It's important to note that this ZK rollup technology is also used by Mina's ZCaps. But where Mina truly stands out, is in how it uses zero knowledge for itself. It verifies a small mathematical proof of Mina's entire blockchain. This reduces the block size to just 22 kilobits, enabling anyone to become an operator directly from their browser with one click, using solutions like OpenMina or even from their smartphone. All right, you've probably understood by now that Mina and Celestia are two extremely lightweight solutions that make the dream of all original cypherpunks a reality, becoming sovereign, active participants, and owners of the technologies we've come to rely on for communication and value exchange. I hope the synergy between these two lightweight modular layers is now clearer to you. Developers today have a wide range of possibilities for building their applications, but this approach offers the neutrality and efficiency that every developer dreams of allowing them to create without questioning the relevance of their infrastructure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave us a comment and follow the evolution of Zcaps with us in future videos by subscribing to this channel and following the Twitter accounts linked in the description. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend checking out this video on the new generation of blockchains, including Mina.